Yeah, see how much deeper they pan it. I don't know how I go on. Life just done. I'm mean, not even no set it done, people. Um, you know, conversation work already. Call a bee. You know, conversation work already. Too much things for talk about. And these conversations need to have. Somebody said a couple of times in the comments that we need to talk about depression. See? That's it. We need to know for comeback. Um, Drea Music, she have a child, but she don't want to come talk. I may understand all of that. I have to add back the whole of everybody. But Mama, there. Add back Mama. And we. We are. My next friend, you will come on to. Hey, baby daddy. I'm a man. I'm a man. I am so happy that you brought this topic up. I am so proud of you. Just so you know. You're proud of me. So proud of me. But on a real, people need to be aware. And you're right. People don't talk about this topic at all. Yeah. They don't talk. Um, about... mm -hmm. May I listen, May I listen, May I talk before me talk? Yeah, I was, yeah, people don't, people don't talk about it because of different reasons, but the truth of the matter is, the more we talk about it, about it, is the more we can educate people about it, and, and the quicker these kids can get help. Um, it is stated in studies that when you... <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, so I was saying, you know, when you meet one child with autism, you only meet one child. And that terminology means, just like what the mom said, uh, the, two, the lady who has the two kids, they have differences. So you can't always right. say, okay, my child gone be, have a noise, make a different sound. They're going to hit themselves when they're excited or... They're going to flap their hands when they're anxious and stuff. Because when you meet one child with autism, it's just one child. So this topic is really, really, really good. And I'm happy right. that you guys brought it up. Right. But remember, we don't talk about this after, you know. No, we don't. It's just like autism has always been there. Yep. And as you said, people... So understand it and then just talk whatever because we come from a place. So once they pick me start to flow. Oh, I'm so frail. How are you all up to pick me tell us why you pick me and Yeah. You know what I mean? The aggression is that, 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 that. it. But we just need to get ourselves as something that we have to read up on or we can watch it because it's on YouTube. So we can watch it. If you don't want to read up just Google um autism. And the, and the side effects are whatever it comes with. The disorders, yeah. The disorders, right. Mm -hmm. But a couple of people in the comment, comment section and say more we'll start about depression. Right. All right. I think you have many different types of depression. It's spelled one way, same way. But I realize that depression is happening to a lot of younger people now more than ever. Right. Because depression can cause by you going to school as a teenager and facing pure pressure. Yes. Pure pressure is one of the first form of depression when a child is trying to be good and trying to excel. Yeah. Because I remember when my daughter was just started to go into, go into Queens, I had to talk to her on many occasions. Because my daughter has anxiety for her to attack enough time because she, she kind of thinks a lot. And she overthinks. Right, she'll learn to deal with it, but I have to sit with her because 
peer pressure in the teenage stage is very dangerous. It is. And that can cause a serious, serious depression. Because when they're trying to fit in. That is true. When they're trying to fit in, it can be a, a very incredible task where you can lose your child into the system. That is true. Because, for instance, your child is a virgin and she has some, meet some new school friends at high school and they're having conversations. So you don't have a boyfriend? No, I don't have a boyfriend. What do you mean you don't have a boyfriend? They don't have a Exactly. Remember these are conversations that like two 14-year-old are having. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So now, she has talked to four of them and four of them are upset and she adds. Because she wants she, she want to know what this, this is, you know? So now, she starts to think about it. She starts to entertain a whole yeah. heap of different, different conversations. Right? Now, her mother or her father do not know how to deal with this because the transition from a child into a teenager. Yeah. I went through that already. Right? So I can speak on it. It's very, very dangerous. It is. And even in the male, the young boy, remember him having head on his shoulder. Right? And him do the right thing and then he will start being clicked with some people. Him smoke, him not smoke, and them are smoke. Them a drink, him not a drink. Mm -hmm. Them a go tell him, so what do you mean you not a drink? You not do this and all that. Yeah. Oh, you just see how far you do, you know, because you know, your life is going where you are living, you know, where, where this and that, so right away, you know. Him now, because remember, you know, there's nothing that the parents can do, you know. And them have to come out of this, you know, molding them, but and them have to grow to come out of this. The choices where they're going to make and them have to know, say, they're going to want to eat and they're going to want to eat. They're going to lose friends. So me have to tell my daughter one of the times, because I remember when she was in third farm, the security at the school gate said to me, say, come here and call me, I'll call them to me every day. And the security said to me, say, your daughter is a nice girl. I watch her and all this and thing. She's firing with some other girls. Mm -hmm. Bad company. Talk yeah. to your daughter. I call her. When we pick her up like me and I have a conversation, because me and her always carry it. Say to her, say, you have to do some things in a life where a lot of people are not going to like. Some choices where you make, you have to make the choices them to yourself because you have to deal with the end result. So you don't want to say, she stopped talking to them. Because when she's a part with them, a great job. Mm -hmm. And when she stops part with them, the she's a problem with it. Yeah. And I agree to go back up because I tell her, you know, tell her to school to make friends. I tell her to school to get her education. Exactly. But if the security never come to me as a parent. Because remember, you know, an all-girls school. Mm -hmm. Only if I think one an all-girls school. Y'all are filled up, y'all. Yep. All of them different, different stuff now go on. Only if I Leslie and all of them stuff. Me and I hold all of them conversations. And I say, listen, if I do what you want to do, you have to do it. Don't yeah. do not what you need to force you to do. Right, don't get peer pressured. Right, because of peer pressure, they have to go through, they have to go through. So, the depression starts from down at them stage because remember again, they want to um, them feel a course. When they want to take up the courses, and they want to take on the course, course, take on the course, take on the course, take on the course. Because sometimes when they see some kids, they take on the 15 course one time. Yeah. You yeah, want to say, no man, I want to pick me take on so much course for. But them set some goal for themselves. Right. But them try to accomplish in a short space of time. We as parents have to lay and talk to them and say, listen to me. We have to know what we are doing. And you have to take your time. No rush, no. just take your time, take your time. We have to tell with son again, don't rush for you. I reach a minute cut across, right? The other thing is, I'm happy that you bring up the parents. Parents have talks with your kids, communicate with your kids. Because I remember when I was growing up, it was always said, um, if you don't come with 90 or whatever, I may go beat you, I may go do this, I may go do that. So that also is a form of peer pressure with the kids as well. Them scared. Them scared to, okay, if I get 90 or 100, mommy, I'm not going to be pleased and all those stuff. So sometimes that can mess with the, you know, the child's thinking and process as well. 
and other people who are out there, I'm happy that that person, the security, call you and talk to you, and you receive it. Because you have some parents, when you talk to them, they don't want to hear it. They tell me not me more pitney. You know what? You understand me? But you receive it as a parent, and you sat down, and you talk, and you communicated with your daughter. A lot of parents are not having open, honest, honest talks with their kids as well. That's why I tell them, no one to be a child friend, and no one to be a parent. We are not talking about depression. We are talking about depression, right? Right. Depression. A lot of males are going through it right now. People are more depressed now from COVID coming than ever. Yeah. Because losing your job after you've been working at a place for so long, and you just lose your job because of COVID. Because from March, I know some people still don't get back to work. But them get a baby. Yeah. That's true. Because them they won't now work. Them look at savings are going down because they buy, 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 buy food, buy food, buy food, buy food. Bills are due. Rent to pay, this to pay, that to pay. Let me check out a loan and the loan and down the paper. That and is they don't true. have the money. Yep. Yep. So the depression comes. The depression coming up. And the depression is like people find themselves picking up some unusual habits that they didn't even know that they pick up. Yeah, but, yep. Because you find yourself start drink. You must find yourself a drink. I know a couple of people who take up drinking and smoking. Yeah. Because you used to, say for instance, live in the entertainment field. You used to go out there and you work constantly, weekly. You have a basic income account and then all of that does stop. And you just sit down and you look for yourself in the mirror. So you best with all this out. Worse if you never save no money. That's why I say, remember, you know, the rainy day where we used to have is that we are safe for the rainy day. I drove, we go through now, you know. Yep, that is true. That is true. Remember that, you know. That I drove, true. we go through now, you know, because the rainy day, the car already, you know, and we did kind of go through the rainy day, you know. Yeah, hoping that comes from the sun and the sun again. Right. But yep. we are going through drought now. And it's like, because I learned this a long time ago. Anything that can count, it can do. <laughs> That's a good time. Anything that can count. So not clear how much and all we are going and people have their money in a bank. Now, if I interest in the money again like one time. That is true. Your money just let every safe keep in. They say yo, you have money there. But then like one time when you can you say you get too much percent of a list and get out, you can't live off of your interest where you have your money for. Yeah, what interest? See? So now you sit down and stress out. You never know, say it's just out, you know, because you're acting different than who is your partner, don't know. And if you live alone, the difference is you can get more real. Yeah. Because remember, you know, you talk to these walls. If the walls could talk, you never been dependent on nobody, and now you feel like you have to get dependent. And then a depression that again, because yes. of, say for instance, a person was a high standard. Mm hmm. A person has a high standard and they must go drop them standard. Because a man is like them long time and they only look for the man. But now they need help. They Ooh. need help. A lot of that go on in COVID time, for real. Right? They need help, you know? Yep. And one thing we sure, your life have a cut off. That's how we be sure about. You have kids you to feed. You just have cut your ass. Life and water man have a cut your ass. A three yes. things that only guarantee that it have a cut off. Yeah. Then the response is, yeah, I go through this, or yeah, I go through that. You're going to get cut off. Mm -hmm. So for you now, what you're going to do? Are you, are you like, you are done, Tom, like, you know, you have put out resume and I do all of them something. But putting out resume, what they do, you have to take three months to learn the job because you have three months probation. Yeah. So, some bosses that what they did was had dialogues and meetings with their workers and they said, listen to me, it rough. We have to take a pay deduction. Is it that you can go home and when things get back good, we call it. 99.9% of the I'm time. Not you're not getting back to call. No. Nope. 
So, you see the area, you know, from, say, April. April, you see the area. Remember last year, this man talked about me, I talked about this year, you know. <laughs> right? <sighs> that depression left, but come in now. And then, you got out. Even one child, I won't even put you have three, four, five, six. I never put that. Even when you don't have a child, I don't yourself you have to maintain because a girl who lives up town and pays sixty thousand dollars per month. And she loses her job. Where she ever get sixty thousand dollars from? That's true, she will cut back. All right. Somebody who suffers from depression. All right, see? Natalie here. Natalie. You have to have more depression. Natalie, uh, 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 uh. Natalie, yeah. yeah you need to depend on the life. You need to depend on the life, Natalie. You it's need to depend on the life. Depressed and having depression. You need to depend on the life. Because you need to depend on the life. That's just say nobody don't want to work. No, that's not true. Some people will want to work, but they have the qualification. Yeah. I know people who right now are dead to work, but they now have no qualification because me and you know that all of us get the opportunity to further with study. That is true. Some of we have primary school education we have. Yeah, street hustle. We have people reach all age, all age. I love the street smart or have carry yeah. school this far. It is true. But I'm telling man to make access to that. Right? I let everybody quick like me to have a skill. And my skill is entertain me. That's how I always I tell people, say, learn a skill, that means you can live off of your skill. Miss well, sir. Come on, man. Come on, man. Because you need to live on this life. Because yeah. this year, I can't get no one to hire. Oh, you're looking somebody to hire? She have, yeah, she have a business. I'm, 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 you feel like you me know we have business. You feel like. I'm a little friend. You feel like you alone me know we have business. I get like a little thing about that. I'm a little dazzling it so. What you feel like? You are a little dazzling and she am a real dazzling. And okay. you are a real dazzling. <laughs> yes, yeah, you know. She have to come on, you know. See that? I'm going to ask you, what's this? Natalie is something. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to change up. I'm going to change up my working life. I'm going to do it, man. You want Jesus to say, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask you. He said, I sent a request. I'm going to ask you, what's my type? I'm going to ask you. I have to scroll, 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 I say. I have scroll, I say, oh, Jesus Christ, I'm going to ask the woman. Um, Natalie, um, exit and come back on the oh, line. Natalie. Yeah. Say exit and come on back. Yeah. Then you going to see the request. Exit and come on back, woman. Let me try to hold my back. I'm going to try to match me up in life. I'm going to try to hold me up in life. I'm going to try to hold me up in life. I'm going to try to hold me up in life. I'm going to try to hold me up in life. Hi, see how you are. Hi, everybody. Hey. Wicked woman in the darkness. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Come talk to me. So yeah, what I was saying is that there's a big difference between being depressed and having depression. So one of them, like being depressed is usually like you're just feeling down for like a couple of weeks, but being depressed, usually we diagnose persons with depression if it's been like a year and over. So that's depression. But being depressed is like you're just going through stuff for like a few weeks or even a month. So, like, that's the first thing. People need to understand the difference between depression and being depressed. That's what I was saying. Okay, depressed over a situation. Yes. 
And it bother you for a two week or three yes. weeks. Yeah, man. But when you're depressed, over a year, you, you, you diagnose that. You, you, yes. you, you have to eat. You, have, you, you can know that somebody is. That's when I say when I lost my mother. I was very depressed. Yes. I showed courage and strength and all of that. But I know by myself, I was depressed. It bothered me. All I hope. Because for me, I, I can use you for an example. I've been diagnosed with clinical depression. So I've been dealing with depression since I'm, I'm 32 now. So I've been dealing with depression since I was 13, right? So I am clinically right. depressed. So that entails sometimes you might have to take medication or find like different coping methods. But it's something that you're dealing with for like, some people, it's for like their whole entire life. Some persons is just for a few years, but like there's just there's different dynamics to it. Just to ask, did your depression start because of some type of trauma or? Yes, that's the next thing. So usually, usually, sometimes it's like a chemical imbalance in the brain that can cause somebody to be depressed or go into depression. But for me, it was trauma. So I was abused as a child. So consistently from I was like 13 till I was in grade nine, because I grew up in Canada and Jamaica. So that's what triggered me into going into um, like clinically chronic depression. And then I was in nursing school. So then that adds on like the stress of it and then right. being a single parent and then being in a country where I don't deal with my family. So it's just me and my daughter. So that added on to it. So depression is like, it's, it's, it's a real serious thing. And like in my practice, for men, as Richie was saying, men don't like to admit that they're stressed or depressed, especially Jamaican men, because we're taught that, yo, real man don't cry, right? Yeah. You, you're tough, sending right. your son to school, the baby's crying, he doesn't want to go, yo, tough up. Like, you don't, like, stuff like that. So you find that black men, when they're depressed or going through depression, they don't talk about it they find different ways of dealing with it, whether it be drinking, smoking, and then in some instances, they commit suicide. So like when you so hear a man say, I want both. to kill myself, normally you take that seriously. Yes, because if a man decides to do suicide, they're going to go through with it more than if a female said she was going to do it. Like females, sometimes we do it and we say it and we'll probably take the pills, but we don't really want to die. We want somebody to find us, whereas a man... Now, like when they say, like, I feel like I'm going to kill myself, people need to pay attention to that, especially kids, especially male kids. Someone said they're dealing with depression and anxiety, so they're dealing with both of them. Oh, yeah, I have that too. <laughs> I have severe anxiety where I feel like I'm going to have a heart attack. Like, literally, sometimes I'll even feel like I'm going to pass out. So, I do have to take medication sometimes. It's not something that I like taking because I am a nurse and I do know the side effects of it. But sometimes, yeah, you just need a little help and you have to take the meds. It's not always a bad thing. But the downside is that the meds usually take like three to six months to work. So while you're wow. going through what you're going through and you're feeling like crap, and usually people will tell you, oh, just get over it or just pray. That pray. pisses me off because yeah, I pray. Like me and God are buddies. Like me and God have a conversation every day, but that does not negate the fact that I'm going through what I'm going through. And that's the thing with you. I've noticed with Jamaicans especially, they'll tell you, "Oh, just pray about it," or "Trust me, man, go through something worse." Like I know you alone. Yeah, if we're all going through mother, stuff. Somebody said, "Mom, I, I'm going through both. I must kill herself. No, she's on watch mode, so she, everybody has to be watching her." Yeah, and it's a serious thing. It's 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 because when you feel isolated and you feel alone and you feel like the world is against you, like nobody gets it. It's like it's an emptiness that, unless you've gone through a depression, you will never understand. Like you'll never understand it. Like you could be in a room filled with people that are your best friends. But you feel so alone and isolated that you just you just want to sink in a in like a corner and just hide. Like that's how bad it is. And then someone said, "If I'm old, I'm PTSD. Is a part of depression?" PTSD. Right. So, for PTSD usually is caused by trauma, like something that happened, and 
you haven't dealt with it, like, all right, so for me, I was abused. So my stepmom tried to drown me, right? So right. my PTSD is that I cannot go and I cannot wash my hair holding my head down or I can't, unless I'm literally washing my face, I can't feel water on my face because that triggers me and sends me into an anxiety attack. So with PTSD first, you have to figure out what your trigger is. Because if you don't know what your trigger is, then there's no way of kind of dealing with it. And it comes in like different forms. Like you can't sleep, like you'll break out in cold sweats, you have tremors, you just get sad and depressed and cry. Some people get angry and lash out. With kids that have PTSD, they're the ones that we tend to classify in Jamaica as bad kids. Like, no right. kid is born bad. That's the first thing we need to understand. No kid is born bad. Something has had to happen to that kid for that child to be acting the way they're acting. So usually, that's also a form of PTSD, people acting out. So I don't know if that helps. So um, you are a person that's very informed and educated on the question. I always hear um, the Mothers, young mothers talk about postpartum and depression. Yeah. I had when that. Just, when you just have baby. Tell yeah. me about that. So I had it, but I didn't have it severely. <laughs> I seem to have everything with mental illness. But I didn't have it severely. A lot of persons have it. You have some people that have it so severe that, like, they just hate their child. So what happens with postpartum is that after you have the baby, there's, like, a chemical imbalance in your brain. So some persons are medicated. Some persons, we tell them to breastfeed. And if it's not severe, like after you breastfeed for a while, you tend to get better. Your mood might improve. But like signs of that is just always crying, like not wanting to hold your baby, touch your baby, be around your baby, like feeling like your child would be better off without you. So those are symptoms, like not wanting to socialize, just feel like being in, like I know after you have a baby, you're going to want to be in bed, right? That's a given. Right. But being in bed longer and frequently and just don't want to interact, like those are warning signs of postpartum depression. And it's normal. Every female goes through it, whether you're rich, poor, live in a first world or third world country, every mom goes through it, but it's just the severity of how bad it is. Like you can just go for it for like a few days, you can go for months, you can go for years undiagnosed. Like, you've had Please severe go. ones where parent, mothers have killed their infants. So, yes, I've heard of that. Yeah. So, it just depends. Sex, um, Lee said sexual PSD follows you for life. Yes, it does. I was also sexually assaulted. So, it, it, it does. It's something that you never get over. But, as I said, I'm 32 now. and This happened to me when I was a kid. What I can tell you is deal with it. Because if you don't, it comes back to bite you in the ass. Like, it, 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 it really does. And it shows up in the worst ways possible. Like, you have trust issues. You're going to have relationship issues. It, it, honestly, it's, it's, it's something that you, you, you kind of have to deal with at your own pace. So, right. like, it's, it's, like, you're going to need, like, a whole video for that one, like... It's it's a lot. It's it could be the scent. You could be walking downtown and somebody pass you with a perfume and just the scent of that perfume alone will just trigger you and you'll just have a breakdown. Uh, I'm trying to understand. Um you know so much about this. You're in the field of um, Yes, so I'm a practical nurse. Is, okay. You're a practical nurse and you are the perfect person to deal with something like this because you have been through all yeah. the stages, basically. Yes. So, she's telling us, this is Natalie. Natalie is telling us about, about depression. Because she pointed it out to me, being depressed and going through depression is two different things.